What's up? We're bringing our River Masters to Paldea in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There's three Pokemon on our team. Nemesis, Guangyi, and Li Bu. They are both named after the historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Gardevoir and Gallade to an extent. They're like the Valentine's mascot of Pokemon. On February 14th each year in Pokemon Go, there's usually an event for these two. I got Spirit Tomb from the Halloween special research in 2020 when we are all in lockdown. In this video, we're going to get all the remaining ribbons and marks for our Ribbon Masters in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. First mark that we're going for is a partner mark. You need to have high or maximum friendship. So every 10,000 steps, when a Pokemon has high or maximum friendship, they have a 1% chance of gaining the partner mark. The method to get this mark will basically amount to running in circles. Your Pokemon doesn't have to be in Let's Go mode. And it's faster if you're riding on Koraido or Miraidon instead of walking it. So my preferred place is the Team Star Cruise Dark Base. You want somewhere that is spacious, that has no Pokemon around, and has no shops that you can accidentally enter. First thing you gotta do, before you even start, check your Pokemon's friendship. Don't even think about, you know, running all those steps and realizing that hours later, your Pokemon doesn't even have the required friendship to get the partner mark. So first thing first, Check your friendship. I open up a picnic to see how many hearts my Pokemon has. If it's 4 or 5, then it should be all good. The most optimal way is a rubber band. You just put it on your Joy-Cons and press down on your lift stick so that you're sprinting. So on average, it'd probably take like up to 5 hours to get your partner mark. It can take less than an hour, maybe 3 hours maybe more than five hours, it really depends on your RNG and how lucky you are. This ribbon's quite self-explanatory, like you just have to beat the Ace Academy tournament. But since we're in Paldea, I want to see what all my ribbon masters look like when they're terrestrialized. First up, we've got Lui Bu. Next up, we have Guan Yu. These two just defaulted to Psychic Terra type. And finally, we get to see Nemesis, the Spirit Tomb, terrestrialize. So, the champion that we got on our Academy Ace tournament run was Nimona. And we gotta make sure our River Masters faint at least one of her Pokemon each, just for fun. We're down to Nimona's last Pokemon, and Nemesis is going to go for the finish with a Shadow Ball. And just like that, with the obliteration of the Dancing Duck, we've earned ourselves the Paldea Champion Ribbons. Our next mark is a Gourmand mark. This is the easiest, earnable, grindable mark you can get in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You can get this mark either through picnics or buying food items in a shop or store. So according to Cerebi, there's about 3% chance of getting the mark for each meal. It's more efficient to buy from a food store because it's faster and cheaper. So my chosen restaurant of choice is in Medali. It is a treasure eatery. The only reason that I like this place is because it's like the cheapest. Homemade umeboshi only costs 500 currency. And all you do here is just keep spam buying the food items. You'll probably get it within 50 tries. This ribbon requires the use of Nintendo Switch Online. Fortunately, I don't even have to pay, I can just use a free 7 day trial. After a year of procrastination, we're finally going to do it. I 
have to get this master rank ribbon before my free trial runs out. This is my first time playing competitive, so I'm going to be using rental teams to figure out what I'm doing. I just used this one team to get me from beginner rank all the way to master rank. In this team, I didn't really use Ogapon or Golden Goal. I kind of just learned to counter specific Pokemon with this team. And thus, we began our climb from beginner rank to master rank. We'll be fighting in ranked singles, not doubles. Cue the rank up montage! show you some highlights from the climb upwards to master rank. First up we have our most valuable player and that honor goes to Qian Pao, the snow leopard. He's fast, he hits like a truck, he's such a menace. This is going to become a Qian Pao appreciation segment. Qian Pao makes the opponent wish they could hide an event. If I was ever in a moment of weakness, I knew I had Qian Pao by my side. A friend in you, I confide. Whenever the enemy had the upper hand, Chien Pao makes him think again. If only you knew, your silence was just another word for your pain. When I did this climb, I had to deal with the Ogre Pond meta. Focus Sash meant that Chien Pao could usually tank a hit from Ogre Pond. I also learned how important priority moves are. I cannot tell you how many clutch battles I won because of priority moves like Sucker Punch. I used Ogre Pong once, and then I realized everyone else is using her, so I might as well focus on countering Ogre Pong instead. The opponents made me feel like a villain because I had to fight against Ogre Pong so much. Most Ogre Pongs were wearing the Half Flame Mask, the Fire Form. I saw a few with the Cornerstone Mask and the Wellspring Mask, which is the Rock and Water Forms, but I didn't see any with the Teal Mask. So I didn't see any grass ogre ponds. If I was the opponent, I'd be seething. <laughs> yeah, think ogre pond is good and competitive? I'm sorry, but you've got nothing on my snow leopard in competitive ranked battles. Take this, you sucking fuckers! You fucking fucklets! You can't even play this fucking game! Hey, suck my is anybody out there? Hello? Mom, where's my energy drink? I don't want that sh**. Chocolate milk is for pussies, Mom! Blood Moon Ursa Luna was scary AF. Once I saw they had a Blood Moon Ursa Luna in their team preview, it is 100% in their team, no doubt. It can outspeed a lot of Pokemon and a Trick Room Blood Moon Ursa Luna, that was a nightmare. There were so many close battles, and you couldn't assure victory until both players had one Pokemon left. It's okay though, even if Blood Moon Ursulina outspeeds, I've got my Snow Leopard to clutch. I used Dragonite 3 or 4 times, but I think it's a bit too easily countered because the opponent can just swap into a flying type or a Pokemon Levitate and completely shut down Earthquake. It's annoying when you don't win because you lose progress and it's like, great, I have to win another one to recover the lost progress. 
Flutomane is just a solid all-rounder. I'm taking the time to highlight these Pokemon because I could not have made it to Master Rank without these Pokemon. Competition is intense, man. As long as Fluttermane outspeeds, she can slice through the opponent like cheese. Fluttermane is just so good. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the best Pokemon you can use in competitive battling in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The final Pokemon that I want to shout out is Rapid Strike Urshifu. The Kung Fu Bear is just as overpowered as the rest of my team. I ended up replacing Dragonite with Urshifu so that my core team would be Urshifu, Qianpao, and Fluttermane. The absolute worst to fight against were the Storm teams. They have their Protect, their Recover, their Status Ailment, and they just... Ugh, they're the worst to fight against. If you want to slowly but surely demoralize your opponent's will to live, then you will run a Storm team. And with the conclusion of that battle, we finally, finally got the Master Rank Ribbon. The last mark that we need to get is the Item Finder mark. This mark requires the use of Let's Go mode, and it's just another RNG based one. There is a 1% chance to get this mark after each item that you pick up. So these items will be the Golden Sparkles, or even just the Pokeballs laying around. I did a couple rounds in Area 0, but my RNG was terrible, so I had to go to Casaroya Lake instead. That's all you can really do, just keep walking around until you get the mark. And if you're not lucky, you just keep going. So this took me several hours. This guy is very persistent in not getting the mark. It's like 180 items now. <laughs> After a sus detour, we return to picking up litter off the ground. The point is, we got the item finder marks eventually. It just took a bit longer than expected. We did it! We have our first three River Masters that originated from Pokemon Go. That is, we got every single ribbon that they can get. From Sword and Shield, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, Legends Arceus, and Scarlet and Violet, we did it three times. Look! Shooting stars! Quick, make a wish! Oh, come true! 